Hi friends, welcome back to Frosty Eye Candy. Now you'll have to excuse me in this video if I lisp a little bit or you can see my cheek is a bit swollen. I had a molar extracted yesterday. Um, not a fun ordeal at all whatsoever, but um, was made a bit more fun with some nitrous that I've never had from the dentist before. So that made everything go swimmingly, but apologise if I lisp or sound a bit funny. I've got a wad in my cheek protecting the big hole that's left in my jaw. Okay friends, so I'm very excited today because I got a visit from the Micah Fairies at this little piggy and I got... Yeah... Macaw. I was secretly hoping for it. I would have been happy with whatever they sent, but I was secretly hoping for Macaw and I got it. So, let's just run through the colours. You know the pillow paint, you know the cell activator, yada da 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 da. But let's go through the colours. A very good friend of mine had some lemon sorbet and she gave me a little tiny pot to try out, which was very kind of her. So this is lemon sorbet from this little piggy. Sorry. <laughs> I've got to try and talk and keep the wad in my mouth. Uh, this little piggy. Next we're going to put down the macaw from this little piggy. And then we're going to lay down this one. Fluorescent Opera Pink from Liquitex. This is the... Uh, uh, acrylic gouache, I think I'm saying it right. Fantastic colour. And uh, this is semi-opaque, as we can see there, with half half uh, diamond filled in. Next, we've got Liquitex Prism Violet in the soft body acrylic. Another one of my favourites. And then just to finish it off. Oh, to begin with, I have some just regular white mixed up. And to finish off, some deco art uh, acrylic, uh, crafters acrylic in the cool blue. So we're starting and we're ending with a opaque. We need an opaque to begin with. Thank you, Lisa Marvin, to help up our, to help support our little piggies and stop them sinking. And then we put the opaque right at the end before the cell activator, uh, just to give the cell activator something to sit on too, because it's nice to be all good to the pants. <laughs> Okay then friends, that's enough of me chatting and being silly. Gonna get the camera pointing down and we're gonna start doing some painting. Okay. So, I've put down about 100 mil or so. Uh, about three or, three or so, three and a half ounces of white pillow down. And we're going to start off with the just the regular white, titanium white Amsterdam I've mixed up in my pouring medium just to hold up the piggies to begin with. Let me just put a nice little bit right in the middle. I know you're probably not going to see it at all because it's white paint on a white pillow. <laughs> but yeah, the piggies just want, want something to sit on. Okay. Next, I'm going to do... I'm humming and hiring whether to do the macaw first or the, or the uh, lemon sorbet first. I think I'm going to lay down the macaw first. So yeah, I forgot to say, I think macaw, from what I can tell from looking at it, it's this gorgeous interference colour. It's a kind of a greeny, greeny, yellowy gold. It's absolutely stunning and uh, a colour I shall definitely be ordering from this little piggy. And you can get your piggies from Fluid Art or fluid-art.co and I'll flash the web address up on the bottom where you can procure these little fantastic piggies. So next is the lemon sorbet on top of the macaw. The lemon sorbet is like this beautiful, very light, lemony, yellow, light gold colour. Again absolutely fantastic and I haven't tried out this combo before we're flying blind so let's see how this comes out I think I'm going to put just a little bit more lemon sorbet there I don't want it to overtake the macaw and I'm sure it won't but there we go a couple of bubbles there I should have tapped my paint pots on the work surface first. There we go. Right, so next it's the uh, Opera Pink from Liquitex. Oh, it's just... Wait till you see this contrast. Whoa! <laughs> I 
I'm pretty sure the 1990 version of Cy would say, whoa, that was sick. And I don't know if I'm being too silly now. But anyway, there we go. That's the uh, opera pink. And next it's the prism violet. Wait for this contrast. <laughs> now we're just going to end it with just a little drizzle of the sky blue. And our cell activators are going to be some Prussian blue first and then some titanium white. So here's the Prussian blue. About the same amount of the titanium white. And now I'm going to blow them out and try to not blow the wad out of my mouth into the piece of art. Oh gosh, I do hope I haven't called it. All right, excuse me while I try to blow this. Okay, <laughs> another very abstract blow but I was trying to keep the wad in my mouth so I didn't blow it out. I guess this is okay. I'm just going to blow out the edges while we wait for the pillow paint to come out or to come back underneath itself. Okay, I'm just going to wet the edges of the of the little cradle. Oh, and I forgot to mention as well, this is a eight inch cradle. And we all know the value of wetting the edges so we don't have to spin too fast because we're doing clean acrylic pouring here or we're, we're trying to be as clean as we can because I paint in my kitchen. My wife is a darling and is very understanding of my acrylic addiction, uh, very supportive. Uh, but the deal is, if I paint in the kitchen, I don't cover the kitchen in acrylic paint. Please, got to try. So that's why I call uh, my videos Clean Acrylic Pouring. Okay, so this is looking quite good. I'm going to just um, pick it up and see if I can move it over a little bit. There we go, lovely. She's all moving as one. That's gorgeous. Okay then, friends, let's give her a gentle spin. Oh wow, as it's spinning around I'm getting the flashes of macaw underneath underneath the um, lemon sorbet and the other colours. Wow, this is looking pretty good. Just going to move it over a little bit. Okay. And the second spin. Remember guys, you just keep your finger on the edge of the board very lightly, not to stop it spinning, but just to catch the drips before they make it to the edge of the board. And we can contain this paint. Oh wow! <laughs> Hello my pretty! <laughs> Excellent, just had to make sure that the camera was in focus. We really don't have much more movement. I'm just going to give it one gentle more spin. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to hold it up. 
and try to see if I can get the light there we go to catch see that beautiful kind of greeny iridescent green gold underneath the yellow of the yellow sorbet lemon sorbet sorry but yeah I can just about make it out that's giving us a lovely a lovely color flash well there you have it my friends Thank you very much for joining me for another Frosty Eye Candy. Uh, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you like, they're active. And of course you can share my videos if you're liking what you're seeing here. And as always friends, happy pouring.